Hey, what's up, everybody? We're playing Valheim now. Today is super exciting because just, I think, one or two days ago, the Ashlands update was released. So today, we're going to really focus on just getting there. That's the goal, right? We just want to get there, and then probably next video, we'll actually do the exploring, but getting there is probably going to take some time. So first, I kind of need to catch up, and clearly, I need to clean my house. Let's go ahead and check our map, though. As you can see, the Ashlands is down here, and I already explored it a little bit. I'm very curious to see how the update's going to affect my world, if, like, the Mistlands is just going to be, like, broken or floating, but um, we'll have to see how that looks when we get there. I'm hoping we'll be fine, though. But yeah, so, we got to get all the way down there. Now... Here's one thing I gotta tell you guys, I have not looked into the update a crazy amount, meaning... And first, um, let's go ahead and gather the materials to build a portal. So first things first, when we get there, we're gonna have to build a portal because that place is mo more than likely extremely deadly. I'm hoping it's not like a repeat of the swamp, but there's a very high chance it will be. But yeah, we gotta build a... let's get the portal materials together. So when we get there, we can go ahead and do that. So that requires to get some of these dwarf eyes that you can see here. We're also going to need some fine wood and we're also going to need some certainly cores. Now, my phone just went off. We have most of those already, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Now, it really all depends on the boat stuff. Now, here's the thing. I want to see what happens when I step in through my original Ashlands portal. If you guys remember, I think the last video or one or the last video we did, we created a portal to the Ashlands when pre-update before there wasn't anything there. Let's go ahead and see what's there right now. This could be a terrible idea. Oh, this was a terrible idea. Okay, well, there's our answer to what happened what happens to our old land. Apparently, it gets reset and deleted because we are now in the middle of the... Am I going to die? I think I'm going to die. And, yo, tell me if I'm wrong. Anything that's floating gets broken. So I'm not going to even be able to get back. Or even get back there because the portal's gonna break. And even if the portal didn't break, I don't think I'd be able to get on get up to the portal again. Because it's on like a different axis. Whoa! Yo, there's birds? Ow. Oh my god, I'm so lucky I had that shield or I'd be insta dead right now. Dude! I'm in the middle of the ocean. My portal is gone. <clears throat> I have ultra meat at least. Guys, I might have to reset. Like, I straight up might have to reset. Because, like, there's not. I just have to die. And. Dude, I am not taking a ship. I'm sorry. I'm not taking a ship all the way back here just to collect my body. Not because of, like, the game, but just because of the update. Low key, man, I might reset. Like, bro, come on, man. Let's go ahead and gather some fine wood. We're gonna need a good bit of it uh, for both of the portals. I just realized that I didn't have enough fine wood in the first place. So let's go ahead and grab some more. And I'm also, I have an inkling that whatever new ship that we're gonna get, it's also going to require some fine wood. Cause I think most of the ships require fine wood, right? You know, if I'm out here sailing, I'm booling through the sea, I'm gonna need some some of the best wood floating me around, right? So I'm gonna assume it's it, I need some fine, so I'm gonna gather some more. Uh, I don't know how much though, so I'm just gonna gather a little bit. I, for now, at least enough for the portals. That's what I'll say that much. Right now, at least enough for the portals. But yeah, okay, so a, a lot of questions have been answered so far. So what happens to the old generation? If, if you're like me and you're playing on... You know, your old world. In my case, it's not super old because this is the world that I played my normal playthrough on, which I'm hoping you guys have watched. Um, the land, I think, it, well, clearly, even if you've explored the land, it just gets reset. Because my portal was still there, but none of the land was. I was just in an ocean, which is also, I'm going to outright say, that was pretty unlucky. <laughs> so now we have this fire portal here, and as you can see, it's disconnected because the portal where I went broke meaning 
Okay, we will have to create a new ship and go down there. So, I guess first things first, let's see our old ship. What is even on it? Now, we do have the option of taking this old ship down there. But I don't think it's a good idea because I'm, again, I'm pretty sure this is like one of the few things that I did read about this update is the fact that if you take another ship, it will break. Yo. Is this the item from the queen? Before it was like the placeholder. Oh, look at that. The artisan press. Okay, so that's a table upgrade. I don't know what, what which one it upgrades though. But yo, okay, the majestic carapace is... The item that replaced the queen drop that before did nothing. Okay, well that's good to know. And it unlocked the artisan table, so that's really... I think that's our next step here now. Let's try to find it. It's got to be around here somewhere. Around here somewhere... Oh, right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, just bronze and some of that rock. That Those are two things that are not very hard to find, to be honest. I'm pretty sure I have a crap ton of that rock already because we explored the Mistlands quite a bit. Bronze probably is the hardest one to get, but I'm sure we can get some if we need it. Okay, so we need copper and tin. Two copper and one tin for every bronze, and we need five of them. So that's not a whole lot. Let's go ahead and create a chest over here. Um, this is what we're going to put, like, we're going to put stuff in here to keep track of, like, the things that we need to create. The artisan press. So we have the carapace. We have the rock. Now we just need a little bit of metal. And sadly, <clears throat> I didn't have a whole lot of backup tin, bronze, or copper. So we're actually probably going to have to get some along with more fine wood, it seems. Okay, so we're here. Um, super luckily, there it. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Warm up. We haven't played this game in a little while. You guys want to warm up? Let's go, baby. Come here, troll. You know, before I go to the Ashlands, I might have to, um, you know, I got, I got to get some, get in back into combat here. The Ashlands, I know for a fact, will probably not be super nice to me, so I should get used to using my weapons again. Hey guys, might be wondering. So, okay, there's the mage builds now, and then there's the melee builds now. What, what are we gonna do? I think I'm gonna stick with my mage. Um, in most games, I'm a mage. I don't know why, I just, I'm called more towards mage builds, like, and honestly, I don't even think they suit me very well. Uh, I am not, you know, I don't play Souls games, I tend to get hit quite a bit, and mages are fragile, so it's like odd where I realistically probably shouldn't be a mage, but I don't know, I just, I get attracted to mages, I love spells and staffs and fire. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to go ahead and go with the mage, but let's go ahead and grab some copper. And there should be some tin around here somewhere. Oh, I was just in the middle of saying, super luckily, where our house is built, shout out my friend Adam, back when this was a server, Adam built this house, so shout out Adam. Um, yeah, he built it right next to a plains, right next to a mountain, and it's also right next to a black forest, and if you guys... Uh, if you guys want to take, you know, shout out to the beginning of the game, with the Black Forest was the second biome right after the, obviously you start in the meadows. It contains both copper and tin, which is used to make bronze. So if I didn't have this Black Forest near me, I actually would have needed to run all the way back home to that Black Forest and transfer all of this stuff by ship. But luckily... Uh, we do have a black forest near us, so uh, there's not a whole lot of tin and copper, but we only need five anyway. So there should be just enough tin and copper to at least do this. And then when we need more tin and copper, we'll have to go back home. Okay, here is some tin deposits. Like I said, there's not a whole lot, but see, that one gave me two. <clears throat> How much will this give me? A, damn, these dwarves, bro. Or what are they called? I don't even know. Do I do I have enough? Oh, I must not be able to pick it up. Okay, let's place. Let's get. Let's put our backpack back on. Okay. All right, we're good. We have enough tin. Let's go back home and smelt it. All right. It's time to smelt. I don't have a whole lot of coal. I'm pretty sure I used all of my coal the last time I was here. All right. Making some bronze. 
upgrade the artisan table, and then we'll see what we have to do then. I then, if for some reason I can't find how to make the new ship, I might just have to head down there with my old ship and uh, fingers crossed. But let's just make this artisan table first. All right, we're rolling, we're rolling, we're making some metal. I think we'll be good. This is gonna take a while. So, I'm probably just going to jump cut here. Okay, there we go. Bronze. We got enough. So let's, we made five bronze. And, yeah, it looks like we have everything for the artisan press. Now, we just have to figure out where does this go? What does it upgrade, actually? I guess I'll just click around until we find it. I mean, like, I don't know, man. Just click, 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 click. Oh! Oh, it's this... How did I totally forget about this? Artisan table level 2 and ceramic plate? Why did I totally forget about this table? Um, okay, mechanical spring, missiles, and okay. Let's make some ceramic plate. Let's see what happens. Yo, shield cores, and there, dude, there it is. The Drakkar. Okay, well, there's the new ship. Along with shield cores, which could be pretty interesting. What does this do? I'm guessing that's like for melee players, right? Like, since they don't have any protection. But then maybe that's... Maybe we should make a shield core for us. Okay, but how do we make the ship? Nails, ceramic plate, fine wood... Yo, that's not hard at all. That That's not bad. We could definitely make this. I'm pretty sure we have all the materials here. We might need to collect some fine wood. And some more of that <clears throat> magic root. But... Yeah, I'm, and I'm... 99.99.4578% sure we actually have some iron lying around and I'm pretty sure that's all we need for the nails themselves so we should be able to make the nails right now actually I just gotta figure out where they are to double check you know what let me just grab a piece of iron this is probably the uh wait already yeah wait where's where's my iron at bro there we go also grab the ore out. Might, might as well just stick it. No. Yeah, let's just stick it in the smelter. Might as well. Iron nails. Yeah, one iron makes ten, and we just need a hundred, so we just need ten of them. Okay, let's... Oh, hey, I have some more. My friend might have, I guess, left his queen stuff in here. All right, let's grab some more, some more of this rock, because we're going to need a bunch of that to make the ship, too. Yeah, I guess my friend left his carapace in here, too, so we have a couple of extras, which is pretty cool. Maybe we'll need it for some other builds. You never know. Let's go ahead and make our iron nail. So, yeah, we did have enough. Let's go ahead and make it. Let's see, how many do we use? 50, 60, we just need 100. So, sadly, we are going to deplete, like, all of our iron. So, once again, we probably, I will have to make a run to, like, all the biomes again. Get a bunch of iron, a bunch of tin, a bunch of bronze. All right, let's make a... Some more ceramic plate too, because we're gonna need some of this for the ship. But yeah, I'm very much overdue for like an ore run, and it used to be so much easier when I had a bunch of friends. But sadly, you guys know that I switched over to single player, um, for personal reasons. But yeah, we're, since we're not on single player, it's gonna be much harder. But we're still gonna have to do it. So what do we need? Okay, some fine wood and some of that magic root. Okay, everybody, quick trip to the Mistlands. Again, we have portals to everywhere, so none of this stuff is too hard. I brought my axe. Oh! Big beetle. Big beetle. Alright, let's see. And I forgot how much they sucked. Yeah, get out of my face. You're trash at this. Let's go back. We just gotta... We don't have to collect a whole lot of this. I think we only need 25-ish. So, maybe we'll just break the roots around here. And if we really need to, we'll cut down one of the big trees, but... We should be, we should be pretty much okie dokie, and then just get, get some fine wood, which you got from. I don't actually know where the best place to get fine wood at, but I'm. It just it's the birch or like the white trees, right in the plains. That's where you get fine wood. So we're gonna do this. How hard do fuelings hit again? Can I just, can I get hit by one of these? I don't know if I should test it. We'll head to the plane after this. We'll get some of that wood. We'll build the ship, and we'll start making our way towards the Ashlands. Ow. 
It actually does hurt. Okay, I gotta be careful. I forgot how deadly the planes is, man. Like, it's... I think it's by far the easiest biome to traverse. It, the things punch. Like, they, they punch. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some of this birch. I think we're... Oh, mosquito. Get out of my face. You're trash. I think we're going to need 50 total. So, that's probably going to be like four-ish trees, probably. Three, four trees. Man, I hate it when they roll into the water like this. Because if you hit it, it can actually like roll away from you. And then you have to like drudge through the water to grab all your stuff. You get a little annoying. Alright. Yeah, this is the... This is the boring part of, you know, the new update is gathering some old materials to make some of the new stuff. So you can even get to the place. But it's okay. It's not a whole lot, you know. I could be... Ow. I could be in a much worse position. You know, I could be in the position where I would need to restart a whole game and then we would require another 40 episodes to get here. But, um... Yeah, I'm not one of those people. You know, let's... let's I played that whole, you know, oh, I played the entirety of Valheim to get to this point so I could be ready for when the Ashlands dropped, but I'm not making a new world. You know, what am I, a scrub? So, here we go. Ah, oh, man, man. And here's the thing. I am very happy that the developers made it to where we can play old worlds. Um, when I was talking to my friends, they were saying, oh, no, we need to restart a new world. The generation's going to be all messed up. And I'm sure some parts, like, especially the Mistlands, is probably messed up pretty good. But the Ashlands seems to have generated completely fine. The ocean's fine. The shores, um, I'm hoping are going to be fine. So we'll see. But I'm pretty sure everything's good. So... Yeah, the, Ash the Mistlands could be messed up, but I'm already done with the Mistlands. I don't need none of that crap, right? I just need the Ashlands to be good. And I think I think they will be. Okay. I think we have enough of the fine wood. Let's head back. I think it might be time to make the ship here. And then get rowing. We've got a long distance to go. If you guys remember our map, and I I'll show you guys in a minute. Uh... To get to the Ashlands, we need to go around basically an entire continent. We got a little unlucky, and the Mistlands is very long. So instead of just going south to the Ashlands, we'll have to go like all the way east and then south. Sucks a little bit. But let's go over to the port. We have our table. We should be we should have everything here. Yeah, look at that, the Drakkar. Whoa, this thing's Well, I was gonna say this thing's gigantic, but um Oh no, the water like an absolute goofball. I'm a ne Neanderthal, bro. Alright, let's try to get out of there. Bro, seriously, bro. Come on. How how is the hardest part of this game utilizing my docks, bro? Like, not the fighting. It's just I fall in water and I almost I'm a failure. I'm gonna be honest with you. You know what? Let's get out of our port to try to because this is a big boat, bro. This is a big boat. Much bigger com yeah, look at, look at the size of him, bro. Now. Uh. Oh. Wait, I'm not near the workbench. Oops. Let's get a little closer. How close do we gotta get, man? Come on. There we go. Oh, okay, we're good. Um. Like, oh, yeah, right here. Okay. Should I get her as far away and place... Dude, look at this thing. It even has a little dragon head. It seems to be like iron plated with some of that new rock stuff. Or not new, the Mistlands rock stuff. That was basically useless up until now. Dude, look at this thing. Dude, how cool is that? Dude, it looks like an actual Viking ship. Oh, I'm very curious to the storage. Oh, dude, look at all this storage. Dude, I love how the boat feels like an actual boat now. Like, the sides are raised, so it doesn't feel like we could just, like, fly off the ship if we went into a thunderstorm. Has seats. We're still... It, dude, this is by far the funniest part of the game for me, that the entire propelling mechanism is this one little oar. 
This one little ore is powering the entire ship. I've always found that so funny. Can can I get on top of the head? Dude, please tell me I can get it. Dude, that'd be so sick. I could drive the boat. Oh, I can. And I can't make it to my other boat. Dude. Yeah, like, look at... I thought this ship was big. This is nothing compared to the other one. Let's go ahead and take all of that. So that's our portal materials. I think it might be time to go, right? I've got the portal materials. I mean, this this all relies on me not getting there and dying right away because then we're a hundred percent screwed. So we'll have to we'll have to guarantee we don't die when we get there. But yeah, look, we got to go from here all the way around. You see that little path all the way around to here. The Ashlands and see what's up basically. Yeah, let's get started. Well, again, I, dude, how is the entire ship being propelled by this one little stick? I don't know, but it's funny as hell. All right, let's go ahead and turn to the right. And yeah, it's time to get moving, boys. We're going to the Ashlands. Uh, you guys have been waiting a long time for this. I've been waiting not too long for this. Because, you know, my Valheim run was not super long ago. It was a long time ago, but not super long time ago. Uh, I know you you guys just got the videos for it. I played it a month or a couple, a couple of months ago. But you guys just got the video, so it hasn't been that long. That's time lapses, bad boy. Here we go. Which is ter yeah, look at this. It's just up ahead. I gotta. I'm gonna stay on the ore though to make sure nothing bad happens. Yeah. yeah okay. Oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You can tell we're in the ash stands because everything is red, and everything looks deadly and terrifying. And we are so screwed. Oh no. Okay. Well, look. Hey, we're gonna try our best here. If we die, we're in a bad position. I did not. I did not make many good backups. I don't have a second Drakkar. Fingers crossed, we don't die. Okay, there's more of those birds. Dude, where is the shore? I thought it I thought it hit shore by now. Also, why why is there like why are we in the middle of a storm, man? We're so close to land. Alright, let's try to get rid of these vultures, these buttholes. Yo, don't eat my ship, bro. That's wood. What are you if you, what are you wood eating vultures? Are you dumb? Not gonna lie, they're also very easy to juke out, so they're kind of bad. They have, they seem to have like a delayed attack. Like they can catch up to you, and then look, they have a delayed attack. So you, you can literally just walk away from them. These guys are bad. Hey, get out of my face, bozo! Go eat something else. Or go, there's trees, bro. Just go munch on some trees. Don't be munching on my boat, okay? This thing took me at least 30 minutes to get. All right, I don't think that one will bother us. But I'm still gonna shoot at it. Bra, bra. No? No? Oh. Oh, there he goes. Alright, I hit him. I was gonna say he's being I'm being blocked by the waves. Alright. Woo! Bink. There we go. Alright, let's grab back on the thing and let's try to get past this rock here and try to make it up to the coast. Coast is scary, bro. But let's try to make it there and see what it looks like. If the coast is not good, we might have to keep sailing around the island until we find somewhere suitable to land. Again, uh, look, man, this is my first time exploring an island on my own. If you guys remember... All the islands we've explored thus far have been with friends. The Mistlands, friends, swamp friends. I'm alone. Okay. 
dude, this is brutal. There's nothing here. It's just water to land, and there's creatures everywhere. No way. I Yeah, I can't build a portal here. Those things are going to smack it. And if anything, I'm in danger. Like, my they're going to come up to my boat and start smacking it. I think I need to get out of here. Yeah, we have to find another place with less enemies. Let's turn it around. Let's get out of here. Yeah, we're, we need to find somewhere a little bit more safe and a little bit more suitable. Later. I guess we'll just go around the island a little bit. Uh, I really hope the entire Ashlands isn't like this. Because I, I don't know where I'll be able to park and build a portal. And I don't think there's any neighboring biomes in the area that I can like put a portal there and walk to the Ashlands. Because I'm pretty sure the Ashlands is an island. So I can't do that. And even if I there if that is a possibility, I mean I think the Mistlands got wiped anyways, but I'd also have to be I'd have to boat around a lot and I don't think I have the patience for that. Okay. Well, let's just go around the island and do a little bit of exploring and see what's up. Also, this weird effect on this guy it reminds me of like a portal effect, so I'm like scared I'm gonna hit a wall. What is that? They added a different type of serpent? Oh my god. What do I do? What do I do? Am I fast? Oh, there's a floating piece of the mistlands. Am I fast enough? But yo, it no but see it shoots things. The other serpent we can outrun. This thing shoots at us. He's... He's drive buying my ship. Dude, seriously? Vultures, bro. Anytime but... Oh my god, dude. We're running into... It's in my ship! You, you know in Star Wars how they had to like drive into a meteor, meteor shower to get away? Yeah, this is me with this thing. I'm gonna run into these spiky rocks to try to get away from this. Okay, it looks. Oh my god, dude. Holy crap. What what do I do? I hope there's not too many of those. Dude. No way they added a sh bigger, stronger serpent that shoots at us? Well, good thing they gave us a better boat, because, yeah, dude, if I came here with my other boat... Alright. No! <laughs> Why, dude? Not another one. Oh, good thing they have the little floaty thing so I can tell that they are here. Don't eat my sh Eat my butt. Don't eat my ship. Huh? Pause. Okay. We'll have to try to run from it again. Again, I think I could kill it. But it might kill my boat first. That's I think my boat might be already low health. Oh, the guy's a sniper, dude. Leave me alone. Man, our Ashlands adventure is not starting off hot. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, like we're we're not we haven't even made it to land and we're struggling. But I think Oh, just turned red. Does that mean land is near? I think so. Look at all these spiky things. Very spiky. Very vultures. Luckily, I don't think these these giant spikes actually do a whole lot to my ship. I know they're they're meant to be like, you know, this is this is bad for your ship. But if you hit them, they don't actually... T I don't take that much damage, I don't think. Also, bird, can you get away, bro? No, wait. Bird, cut. Oh, no! No! Not another one. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Please. Oh, my God. It's sniping me. 
Bird, please! Not now. Okay. I think we're good. Oh. There's land. Let's park right here for a second. No! Bird! You... Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna best. I'm gonna say a bad word. I'm gonna say a bad word, bro. Okay, I don't think we can stay here, though. Once again, look. All across the coast. Okay, guys. I've looked around. And right to our left is a little building do you guys like you know in like in all the other biomes how there's like buildings sometimes occupied by things like skeletons but most of the time they're just chilling well there's a building right here right in front of us and look i can't make a portal on the shore that's impossible i think the best place to just make a portal is at this building because there shouldn't be anything there i, I, I hope so if there's something there we'll just kill it We'll just have to, and it's far away enough from the shore where I don't think things are going to come and kill me. So, yeah, let's pull up. We'll try to, again, I hope our boat's not too close to the shore. This thing. And I'm hoping there's a, just a small stretch of floor that where I can utilize for a bench and a portal. Hmm... I mean, we seem to be fine right here so far. Fingers crossed. Let's jump in. Um, okay. Stairs. Stairs are hard, man, I'm telling you. Okay. We're in the building. We seem to be safe. My ship is outside. We are officially in the Ashlands, and we're not instantly getting killed. There isn't one of those bone things. There isn't people. All right, let's break down this wall right here just because... So hopefully I'll be able to get in and out from the ship until here. Yeah, I don't think our ship is going to move from that, that position right there for a long time. Once we build the portal, we'll just come back and forth. Now, the one exception will be... If there is materials that I can't transport out of the Ashlands by portal, we'll have to use the boat. But, honestly, I'm sitting here, I'm wondering if I'll even survive the Ashlands in the first place. This place is deadly, bro. Okay. So there is a little spot right here for us to build our table. And then, on that little piece right there, we should be able to make the portal. I think that has enough room. One, two, three. And then we just gotta build the walls for this thingy. And I'm pretty sure wooden things also break in this biome, if what I know is correct. Like, there's little fireballs that rain down. So, I might come back and this thing might just be gone. But, honestly, I'm okay with that. Dude, this wall. Hello? Oh, is it because I'm in it? If, if I tried to put that down, I'd just decapitate myself. Okay, let's step out so I don't lose my head. There we go, right? Alright, there we go. Alright, I should be able to build a portal right here now. Let's see. Portal, 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 portal. You know what? Do I need to place wood stuff first? No, let's just let's just build a portal. Sick, we have enough room. And now, if you guys remember, our old portal broke. Fire, it broke. So I'm just gonna use the same connection to go to this one. Easy peasy. Alright. We're here. We have a portal. We have a ship. We have this. I'm going to go ahead and expand the floor a little bit so it's not as tight. But we're here. We have made it to the Ashlands. I think we're at probably 30-ish minutes. Probably more. 
And I think next video, we will jump to land and see what we can do. I don't think it's going to be pretty. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not going to be pretty. But we'll try.